Hi there gaming buddies, it's Winter and I'm making a video response to Runeslinger on his small stories video. If you hear any rumbling or see any flashes, that's because there is a thunderstorm going on over here, so it's very dramatic. Um, although I enjoy running long stories, long plots um, that have a wide impact on a region of the world, uh, some certain societal structure, uh, one entire group of the population, whatever. Uh, I still interject these small stories into those long campaigns all the time. Sometimes the players do it for me. Um, that's always fun. Uh, I think starting with the long story the virtue of that is that there is a a clear objective um, something that the players can strive towards that that they can sort of if if they be, get a bit frustrated because they things don't go their way and uh, and so on or whatever else reason might might uh, put them in a bit of a slump for a for a session or two, at least there is always something ahead that they can look towards. That okay, uh, no matter what's going on, uh, we should still strive to uh, conquer the neighboring kingdom, or protect our cooperation from a hostile takeover, or stop the bioengineered plague, whatever. And of course, they can approach all these big goals in any manner that they see fit. Um, it doesn't have to be one specific way and shouldn't be one specific way. But that's the main strength that I see in a long campaign. It feels like it, it's just nice knowing that there is a definite beginning, middle and end to whatever is going on to the game, that it's not always so open-ended and vast, uh, because those can just get a bit... well, they they can feel a bit too much, you know, after, after playing in that kind of a game for a while, you start to feel that there is no end in sight, so you might start looking at other games at that point. Um, but anyway, smaller stories, they are great because they're the focus is smaller, uh, in a smaller area, uh, on just one person, one family, one village, whatever. Um, and it's, it's something that the players can have a far more immediate impact on, where they can affect change faster, and it just takes their own effort to do it. Um, if you are going to uh, conquer a neighboring kingdom, that takes the effort of thousands of people. Even if the player characters are the ones who fight in all the critical battles, make all the critical choices, they still can't accomplish it alone. So the progress there is far slower. They don't see the uh, effects of their uh, successes and failures right away or if if they do it's only in places um, whereas here in a smaller scale like a personal story of one of the PCs it is immediate and therefore it feels more personal if they are if they are given a task to uh, protect a village or if they just you know volunteer that we want to protect this place uh, we grew up here. In that war scenario, say that the village that the PCs are supposed to be protecting, say that it's sacked and put to the torch, that's going to feel far more personal and have a far more dramatic result than in the long campaign scenario if the PCs are, you know, in a, in a, like, a capital and they hear that, oh, these 15 border villages were sacked and put to the torch, and now the enemy is moving in these locations. 
yeah, the tragedy is wi more widespread there, but the PCs don't take it so personally. Uh, even though it is their kingdom and uh, it's their war effort, still, they weren't there. They weren't in those places. So that's that's the uh, appeal there, I think. And uh, and if it's something that the PCs, or rather the players, initiate themselves, that's even better. Because if they make ties to a certain non-player character or a certain place, uh, or a certain tradition, I've had that happen as well. Um, it It's always something that they can come back to, and it feels like a sort of... like a story anchor for that that character. That it's... it's or, well, not an anchor, but a landmark, uh, where it's something recognizable that they can go back to. And, uh, and uh, here a... Game Master should be very careful not to mess with that so-called landmark very much, uh, because if uh, all NPCs that they uh, fall in love with or care about constantly get slaughtered or kidnapped, uh, they're going to stop caring. Um, so, yeah. But also one, one other important aspect in these small stories is the fact that it actually gives the players a cool break from the big events, the main story. And that can be very, very helpful because uh, in those longer stories, getting anything significant done takes time. But if they have this sort of break with their... Uh, with their side story, uh, a personal story, even if it's something that you know the whole group takes part in, uh, those are great because there they do get possibly a sense of accomplishment, even if it's something negative that happens. But it's still something that uh, changes things. Is something that they can have deep, meaningful interactions with, and. This is one of the main things that makes the game world seem more immersive, brings it alive. But, yeah, that's, that's why I always put these smaller stories in my big ones, because if I didn't, the stories, I think, would not be worth telling. But, yeah, I'm gonna stop recording now and uh, watch the fireworks. So have a nice day. Bye.